this is another uh, basic diode problem here it is asking simply to find the current flowing through the diode d1 that is id1 so uh, as usual uh, our first approach must be d1 and d2 both are let's assume basically let's assume d1 and d2 are both are conducting so in this case see here this is at zero volt and the voltage d point d must be 0.7 volts uh, higher than uh, the cathode voltage because uh, the forward conducting voltage drop must be constant that should be 0.7 as mentioned in the question so this must be 0.7 volts and if it is 0.7 ve voltage at point e must be zero volt because we have assumed that they have d2 also conducting so the voltage drop must be points uh, volts in order to satisfy that condition v must be zero volt now it's almost simplified now the current in this part is 15 minus 0.7 over 10 so this is 1.43 milliamperes it's clear and here v e is uh, zero volt so the current flowing through this must be id2 because both are connected in series so that is zero minus of minus 10 volts over 5 kilo ohm resistor so this must be 2 milli amperes so clearly at point d the approach let's say this is d the approach current is 1.43 milli amperes and outgoing currents one is uh, id1 and another is id2 so id2 is clearly 2 milli amperes so the approaching current is less than uh, this uh, outgoing current so this must be this id1 must be flowing through this direction so that must be negative current so which is clearly indicating that the d1 is off d1 is off which is not at all conducting so in that case id1 must be 0 milli amperes so it is 0 milli amperes let's check uh, in that case if, if it is off then the equivalent circuit must be looks like this uh, in that case this is uh, minus 10 volts this is 5 kilo ohm this is id2 and uh, this is 10 kilo ohm resistance this is 15 volts so in this case id2 must be 15 this voltage drop must be 0.7 so minus 0.7 and minus of minus 10 volts over 10 plus 5 so clearly this leads to 23.3 uh, over 15 kilo ohm so this is uh, id2 must be uh, how much it is let's uh, use a calculator 23.3 over 15 so it is 1.5533 milliamperes so uh, let's check uh, if our assumption is correct so to check that let's calculate what is voltage at point d vd that is 15 minus 10 times id2 in the in this case it is a plane circuit so this is a uh, vd uh, so 15 minus 10 times 15.5 sorry it is uh, 1.5533 milliamperes so let's use a kelsey again 15 minus 10 times 1.5533 so which is clearly uh, minus 0.5 double three volts so clearly uh, the cathode uh, the voltage drop across the diode vd1 basically is negative that is 0.533 so it is uh, uh, d1 is of our assumption is justified so at least it should have uh, 0.7 voltage drops to conducting but here it is not satisfying that condition so clearly d1 is not conducting so the current 